I live in a big city. I live in a small flat in the center of the city. I love living here because everything is near my house. There are so many restaurants, bars, supermarkets and grocery stores to eat at and to buy food from. I love trying different food, so this is great for me. Also, the transport is excellent in this city. We have buses, taxis, trains and underground trains. There are many bus stops, bus stations and train stations, so you don't have to walk a long way. The buses and trains aren't usually very busy, so they aren't noisy and it's quite relaxing to take them. I hate it when it is noisy on public transport because it makes it very stressful. I normally listen to music when I'm on the bus or train or I read a book. Because I live in the city centre, I don't have a car. I hate driving, so this is excellent for me. When I need to go somewhere far, like travelling to the airport or visiting my friends and family, my mum usually takes me. If not, I take a taxi. The problem is that taxis are very expensive, so I prefer to go with someone in their car. There are a lot of fun things to do when you live in a city, like going to the cinema, going shopping at shopping centres or walking around the market. I like to do these activities with my friends. Something bad about living in the city is that if you want to do a fun activity, it is normally very expensive. Cities are usually a lot more expensive than towns or villages. The rent that you pay to live in your house is expensive, the food is generally more expensive and you spend a lot more money because you can't go for a walk in the countryside and other free activities that you can do in a village. For example, a ticket to go to watch a film at the cinema costs £12. Some popcorn and a drink costs £6. And if you go to have dinner after the cinema, that normally costs around... 15 pounds. So it's a lot of money. I only do fun activities like this at the weekend, not from Monday to Friday, because if not, I would spend around 20 or 30 pounds every time I go out. There are lots of flats or apartments in my area. There is also a police station, a fire station, a school, a hospital and a university. But my favourite places to go are the bookshop and the library. When I am at the library, I can read books for two or three hours and it is free. If I like the book, I can buy it at the bookshop. I often think that I want to move to the countryside to have more parks, see the flowers and trees and to be more relaxed, but I love living in the city. I don't want to live in a small village with one small shop and 
no shopping centres, bars or cinemas. I think that it's boring if you are young and you want to try out new activities. One free activity that I like to do in my city is to visit museums. I love to visit history and animal museums. I think that they are very interesting. I love learning about insects and animals and also about countries and their history. There are many museums in my city and they are normally free all over England. I know that in other countries you have to pay to get into a museum but in England almost all of them are free if they are public. Museums normally have a cafe and it's nice to have a coffee and a piece of cake or a sandwich after spending a couple of hours at the museum. I often go and sit on a bench in a park to read. It's a relaxing activity and I love being outside. I normally do this when the weather is nice, the sky is blue and it isn't windy. My flat doesn't have a garden so it's nice to be outside especially at the weekends when I have more time. Going to a flea market or a second-hand market is another thing that I enjoy doing in my city. Flea markets are markets where people sell old things, which we call antiques, or second-hand items like furniture, clothes, books or CDs. It's fascinating to look at all the things that people are selling. Sometimes the items are a bit rubbish but other times there are great things for sale and they are always very cheap. In England there is a TV program about old objects, which are antiques, that people have found at flea markets or they have found at their parents' or grandparents' houses. They go on the TV program to sell the items and sometimes they bought the object like a watch or a dish or a bracelet for one or two pounds and then they sold it for 500 pounds. You obviously need to know what you are looking for, like what is expensive, but some people find really expensive things at flea markets and sell them for a higher price. I don't do this but I like going for a walk with my friends around the flea market because it can be quite fun. I prefer to go to markets, not shops, because I don't like buying new items. I live in a city and I like visiting shopping centres but I usually go to a restaurant or to a cafe when I am there. I don't usually go shopping and buy a lot of clothes or things that I don't need. If you have enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video.